The new Notion calendar has 69 different keyboard shortcuts to help you navigate a lot quicker and save time. Now this might seem like a lot, which is why at the end of the video I'll also be sharing the 10 most essential keyboard shortcuts that everybody should be using. And if you haven't yet, make sure to watch my full Notion calendar tutorial after watching this one. Now let's get started. The first keyboard shortcut is a question mark which will open up the keyboard shortcut menu which will show a list of all the keyboard shortcuts that I'll be going through in this video. And I'm going to start with the general tab. The next shortcut is Control K which will open up the command menu where you'll find a list of all the actions you can perform in your Notion calendar. You can press the back tick button which is the button above tab in order to show or hide the left sidebar. You can switch between light and dark mode by pressing Control Shift L. If you have something selected, you can press Escape to dismiss. You can hold Shift to move sideways instead of up and down. You can use Tab in order to move your focus around. And if you hold Shift while pressing Tab, then you can move it backwards. You can undo a certain action by pressing Control Z. You can use X to select or deselect a highlighted event. You can select different events by holding in Shift and clicking or by dragging your mouse. To create a duplicate, you can hold Alt and drag your event or you can press Control D. Next is for meetings or repeat repeated events. If you want to instantly delete a meeting instead of getting this message, then just hold in control and click backspace. If you want to cancel the meeting, press control shift and backspace. Or if you want to update the meeting, press control shift and enter. And if you want to change the time and date of your meeting without having this confirmation, then just hold in control and move it around and it will automatically update as well as send an email to whoever you're having a meeting with. And in order to do the same thing without sending an email, just hold in Ctrl and Shift and then move it around. You can press S to share your availability. And when you click on Create, you can click Ctrl, Shift and C to copy this whole snippet. Or you can press Ctrl, Alt and C to only copy the link. You can press C to create a new event. You can create a quick meeting by pressing F. You can pull up your Notion databases by pressing O. If you have teammates, you can press P to show their calendar and click on Escape to hide their calendar. If you have an upcoming meeting, then you can press Ctrl J to join the meeting. You can move forward between events by pressing N and you can move backwards by pressing N while holding in Shift. And you can use the slash command to search for something in your calendar. All right, now for the actual calendar. Press D on your keyboard to display the day view, press W to display the week view, and press M to display the monthly view. You can also create a custom calendar by typing in a number between one and nine for the amount of days. You can show or hide weekends with Control Shift and E. You can show or hide the client events by pressing Control Shift and D. And you can zoom in on the hours by pressing Control Shift and full stop, and zoom out by pressing Control Shift and comma. If you want to go to specific date, then just press full stop and type in your date. You can instantly go to today by just pressing T. You can align your view to today by pressing Alt and T. You can go to the next week or month by pressing J and go to the previous week and month by pressing K. You can also move between views by using the arrow keys and you can also travel to a time zone by pressing Z. Alright, next is all the editing shortcuts. The first few shortcuts is going to be for holds or for events. To edit the title, press E and T. To edit the day, press E with the letter D. For the start time, press E and the letter S. For the end time, press E and Q. For the time zone, press E and Z. For conferencing, press E and J. And for the calendar or color, press E with the letter C. Now the next view is only for events and not for holds. Press E and the letter A which will move it to the top and toggle on all day. Press E and the letter R to repeat an event. Press E and the letter P to add a participant. E and the letter L to add a location. E and the letter K to add a Notion page or an external link. Press E and the letter W to add a description. And press E and the letter H to add a reminder. Now the next two are only for holds. And the first one is E and the letter B to toggle the meeting link. And E and the letter U to toggle the meeting duration. And now the last few shortcuts is only for meetings. To respond yes, press E and Y. To respond no, press E and N. And to respond maybe, press E and M. Press E twice in order to email participants. And if the participant has their calendar shared with you, you can press E and F in order to show or hide their calendar. Now the last four shortcuts is for navigating the app. Press G and S to go to the settings. Press G and H to find the help center. Press G and the letter F to give feedback. And the last one is the question mark to pull up the list of keyboard shortcuts. Now of course you can also still use the default keyboard shortcuts just like in any other app, which includes delete, enter, Control X to cut, Control C to copy, and Control V to paste. Now, what are the 10 most essential keyboard shortcuts that I think everybody should be using? The first one is Control K to open up the command menu because from here you can perform any type of action inside of Notion Calendar. Next is pressing the letter T to quickly go back to today, the letter C to create a new event, the letter F to create a quick meeting, E and the letter A to remove an event, D for the daily view, W for the weekly view, M for the monthly view, and then J and K to move around between the weeks and months. Be sure to check out my full Notion calendar tutorial which will be on the screen now and make sure to give this video a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.